Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today by Mr. Abdul Karim Sumaila, who is a Secretary General of the Africa Telecommunications Union. Mr. Sumaila, nice to see you again. Well, welcome to the studio. Yes, thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about what does smart digital development mean to you and how is the ATU working towards it? You know, this, this uh, word, smart, it's now begun, I cannot say the fashion or it what, but anyone now want to say smart on anything. So, hope that the smart uh, uh, ICT have a very nice name for uh, especially the African countries, where we, we know, and I think most of the players know that today, ICT play a key role in the continent and especially in terms of the development and uh, we believe we as Africa that uh, this smart ICT will going to change many things in Africa and it already changed as we said the way we do things and for us when you on the past. Today, ICT uh, play a very economic help on many African countries when you look about the, the mobile money globally. Uh, but also, we look about uh, those development of the smart city that we start putting put in get together and also the, the smart education, the smart health. So I think we are really on the, the way to, to achieve, but however, there is a lot of things to do before to achieve all those objectives. I know most African countries have a very strong policy in terms of the ICT development, but in terms of the, the internet connectivity, and I think many ministers here on the debate already uh, put this on the table, say that there is a lack of things, especially when it comes to the broadband. Let's talk about innovation. What, uh, what innovation do you think, technological innovation, uh, will be the most transformative? You know, uh, it's, it's not, uh, uh, it will be a big question to answer because it depends on how you see it. Because in terms of innovation, I think uh, uh, today uh, we are looking for, for me, we are looking for the application. And when we say application, it means what you will do with this uh, 3G, this 4G, because you know, as political, don't speak about them 3G or 4G. Tell them what application they are going to use in terms of to do a visa for G or 3G or 5G when it's come. It's the utilization of the ICT to, for example, in Africa in terms of education, in terms of the health, and also in terms of transport, but also in terms of to reduce the cost of the transport because many things today you can do it directly with your mobile phone. You don't need to move from another place to this place. You pay all your bill to be today in many African countries with your, your, your phone. You don't need to move. What about uh, 5G? I mean, 5G seems a little dot in the, the distance for some countries. I mean, how can governments ensure that this becomes a reality? I think it's not uh, only the government to push to push it only to be a reality. It will be together with all the key players. I mean that with the industry, with the, 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 the telecom operator, because you know, whatever we as a member state or government push to do, we have to do with the business case. We have to do with the market. Otherwise for me, today it's good for us if we can have 5G. Because we know that the application on 5G is very important. But the problem is not sure that if some market in Africa are not ready to do that. 
What about digital literacy? What measures do you think should be taken to make sure that everybody is digitally literate? Uh, you know, for me, there is uh, many initiatives that member states take in Africa. When you see that, they say any laptop for all the school. I, I don't know whether it will be reality or not. But we, we think that there is under some who make projects connect all the village in their countries. Uh, so I think there is a, a big step that member states take in terms of the putting first a digit, putting first the, the computer. Before you fight about it, you must be sure that at least we have device to do it. We have to be sure that we have connected to do it. So you cannot do literacy if we don't have internet access. If we don't have a laptop, that's if we have this tablet like you have today. So we cannot do it. So I think it's not uh, to say about, but it's to put something, all those ingredients in France to say that how we will do, we will fight about digital literacy. But the problem, we have to go first to school. We still have uh, people who never go to school and today. So you cannot fight about guest bit if you didn't put all your people or your kid to school. Finally, we're here at ITU Telecom World. You're no stranger to ITU events. I just really wanted to find out what's the value for you of attending this event? I think it's not uh, the value only for me. But it's the value should be come from member state for those young people who attend to what kind of sharing they have here and also what they learn. Because you see there's many interactive workshops, there's many discussion, even many ministers they attend many round the table. So for me I think of this we we at member state we learn. There is changing, there is country coming from Asia, they give on the table, they explain wha what they achieve today. And African countries also share with them. But I think when we share with someone, we learn from each other. And you have the many young people coming here, also in terms of in, in innovate, they change and they see how to create those, uh, what you call small entrepreneur. So I think there's many things that we here to learn. And when we go back, we try to implement it. I wish you the very best for the rest of your stay here and, uh, and for the future. And look forward to catching up with you again at some, at some stage in the future too. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. It's me who thank you. Thank you very much.